up? It's your big homie Kev. Today I was at church and someone asked me, he, he walked up to me and asked me, and he was also a music producer. He walked up to me and asked me, what's the difference between a major and a minor chord? Now, as I'm sitting there and I'm thinking of what to tell him so he will understand, because I know what it is, but when you're explaining something to someone and they really don't know, you have to make sure that you explain it simple to where they can understand. So the same answer that I gave him is the same answer that I'm going to give you. And when I gave it to him, it was like, wow. I mean, he really appreciated that and he understood what I told him. So let me tell you the same thing. Because I believe as a music producer, you have to also have a great ear. I mean... You may not know how to play the piano right now, but you do have to follow the notes and be able to hear when you're in the same key of, you know, the track. It's just like tuning the 808. If you tune the 808 too high and you're playing something in a totally different key, it's going to sound whack. It's, it's not going to work. So this is how to basically spot out minor and major chords. It's just this simple. So... Now, if you want to take this a step further and learn more, you know, about uh, music theory, I suggest that you go to Google, type in images, and then type in whole piano diagram with notes, and it will bring up the actual diagram or lots of different diagrams, and, you know, just so you know exactly what notes is which. Now, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you two chords. I'm going to show you a minor and a major chord. Now, what is a chord? A chord is three or more notes coming together to make one voicing. So, that's a chord. That's a chord. That's a chord. Okay, so, again, I'm gonna show you the chord on the diagram so you know exactly what chord I'm playing, and you can be able to use this chord if you're not using it already, or these chords if you're not using it already. But it's very, very important that you pay attention to what I'm gonna tell you because this is really going to help you train your ear. Now, so basically, it's just as simple as this. And you're going to think, you're, you're not going to believe this, but it's just this simple. A minor chord is sad. It's, you know, think funeral. Think, you know, just think sad. Think crying. Think sad. Now, I'm going to play a minor chord for you. This is a minor chord. Now, as you see, this sounds, you know, like... That's a minor chord. Sad, funeral, crying. Now when you think major, think happy, laughing. This is a major chord. You see the difference? So Now minor, sad, major, happy. Minor, sad, major, happy. Now, when you are listening to different records, try to see how many songs you can spot out now that are minor chords and that are major chords. Now, a lot of minor chords, you know, there's a lot of minor chords used in pop songs. There's a lot of minor chords used in really basically every genre uses major and minor chords. So, but you have to know the difference. Now, let me show you what the exact chord was. The chord that I used is G sharp. Now, if you look at the diagram here, you see three notes. The note in the middle is G sharp. I will call it A flat, but that's something else. I'll explain that later. The second note that I used was B. Now, as you can see, the, the set of three notes right next to that note is B. So hold those together. And the very last note that I use is D sharp. And if you hold those three notes together, that's a minor chord. That's a minor chord. Now, if you want to change from minor to major, and this is this is the trick. All you have to do is move the finger from B to B sharp or C. It's just one finger, one finger difference. Minor, major, minor, major. And, and again, the chord that I'm hitting is G sharp, B, 
B, and D sharp. That's G sharp, B, and D sharp. And the major chord, G sharp, C, and D sharp. So now you know the difference between a major and a minor chord. Now, and if the sharps and the flats and all of that kind of talk kind of took you off, don't worry, because I have a lot more of this that, you know, that I'm going to be bringing to you right now. Your assignment is listen to as many records as you can and see now with your new ear training how many songs you can spot out with minor or major chords. And again, minor is sad. Major is happy. So if you don't have your free luxury loop pack, go and download your free loops. You know, make those bangers. Get started right now. Make those bangers. And um, again, if you want to learn more about music theory, type in, go to Google, type, go to Google Images and type in whole piano diagram with notes so you can at least see or follow along with this video. And then watch this video again, you know, when I go to the exact chords that I'm playing. So you can play those chords and start to use them in your music right now. And again, the importance of having an ear is to be able to Stay in the same key. I mean, stay in the key of the track. There's nothing... I had a producer years ago wanted to collab with me, and I sent him some music, and he ended up playing something that wasn't even in the same register as I played in. And it sounded horrible. It, it clashed. It sounded horrible. Like, don't that sound horrible? Well, that's how music sounds when you have something going on in this key and something going on in this key. Minor, sad... Major, happy. Okay, so I uh, already told you about the luxury loops. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you like this video. All right, peace.